Good morning, gang. Happy Saturday morning, though I'm recording this on Friday night because I figure at this point I still have a voice and maybe I can sleep in a little bit in the morning. <laughs> so Operation Pinball has pretty much come to an end with the exception of the fat lady singing, which is delivering a couple of generators that are coming in the mail here on Monday and Michelle and I doing the final stuff on the accounting. Wanted to give you a little bit of rundown of what happened here on Friday, so you got an idea. It wasn't without uh, a little chaos to finish it, but we got our Food City truck. They were there right on time, about quarter after nine this morning. We went over to Newport to unload. We walk into the Newport facility, and the guys are like, don't you have a second place you're going to take this? And we're like, yeah, half of this truck is going to Greenville. They asked us, they're like, can you possibly take the whole truck to Greenville? We have so much stuff here, we don't have any room for it. That was music to my ears. They've got so much food and material and everything like that, that they couldn't take any more in until they get some taken out. And apparently that's going to start tomorrow, or today, actually, tomorrow when I'm recording this. Uh, so Michelle guided the... Uh, truck driver all the way over to Greenville and they were ecstatic to get all the food and unloaded that and everything so it's all out there so that was all a good thing <clears throat> it does bring me to one point though uh we do not need to if you're local if you're mailing something or whatever it does not need to go to the crossroads community uh church warehouse anymore the guys there were telling me today they absolutely do not need more clothing, blankets, whatever. Uh, for the simple reason, the, the quote I got was, we've got enough clothing here to, to clothe every everybody in Cock County for two years. I mean, it was insane what we saw in the warehouse today, how much stuff had come in. And it was still coming in, okay? They got to the point where they're like, if we get any more, either we're going to have to turn these people away or they're going to start having to landfill some of the, the clothing and stuff like that. So I talked to Michelle and Michelle said that the uh, Green County Collection Center, they still can take stuff. I will put a link under there. It's probably not going to last long till they're buried too. After that, guys, I have no idea. You're going to have to figure out for yourself where you can send it to. Uh, because I I don't have any contacts with any other cities in Tennessee, let alone in Georgia, North Carolina, Florida, anything like that. So just saying there. So before you send something out in the mail or decide to make a drive, just saying. Okay. So that was all good. So we got that all taken care of by about 11 o'clock. And then, of course, we had to have the baby formula delivered today, which was supposed to be picked up at 7 in the morning. And, of course, we had snafus at the distributor where we were picking it up. And so they didn't finally get loaded until 9.30 in the morning. Well, it was a four-and-a-half-hour trip. So now I got a couple hours. I had three hours to sit in the parking lot and wait for Dina to come in with the load. But it couldn't be that easy, No. Of course, when they got an hour, it was a four and a half hour drive to get here, by the way. Uh, of course, with a load on, an hour outside of Newport, they blew a tire on the trailer. So then they had to find a tire repair shop where they get a new tire on the trailer. They finally got everything in about 4.30 Friday afternoon. So the baby formula is all there. We got three whole pallets of it. One pallet's going to go to Greenville, two are going to stay in Newport. So that was it. So guys, mission accomplished. We took, by my calculations afterwards, a convoy, eight truckloads, whether they were box trucks or semis or whatever, of goods, plus God knows, I mean, again, today I ran into two more people, subscribers of the channel there at the community center or community warehouse that I didn't even know were coming and they were there dropping off stuff. So the difference that we made was huge. I mean, we weren't the only ones that did anything. Don't get me wrong. There were a lot of organizations that were doing it, but 
I think we can all say we did good work. So with that, I wanted to pass out some thanks here uh, to everybody. First, first and foremost, to to Michelle and Randy for running the Give Send Go for spearheading everything in Greenville. We got this thing got enormous because of what you did, and that's awesome. And from the bottom bottom of my heart, thank you guys for helping. Diane, <clears throat> for being our rock in Newport. I mean, without her. 90% of what we did, we couldn't have got done. She figured out where places were going, what was needed, doing all the coordination between God knows what. Diane, I owe you big time. The other Michelle in Greenville, okay, who was running the show over there for keeping in touch with our Michelle on what they needed, what what we could do to help, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Michelle, thank you. I know you and I have not met, but if you see this, Thank you for helping us help you. Patera, I wanted to say thank you for you, uh, just for spreading the word and getting out there and doing the grunt work on the ground. I mean, the stuff that nobody else was doing, you were out and doing. And guys, I want to tell you this, if you ever watch Patera's video, she's just as much of a no BS person in person as she is online. So just say it. To the rest of the gang, I want to extend my thanks to the manager at the East, East Town Sam's Club, thank you. After what started off to be a train wreck, when we got there, you got us straightened out and on the way and out the door, and I appreciate that. To Chip at the Newport Bargain Barn, I mean, Chip pulled some huge favors here for us, called in a couple of his trump cards to help us. Chip, thank you very much. Scott at the Maynardville Food City, uh, Scott went above and beyond to figure out how to get us $150,000, $147,000 food order and get it done and delivered and really quick, okay? I mean, we worked on that for a few days this week and it's already there. To Liz at Houchins for getting us the baby formula. Granted, it was three pallets of it, but that we couldn't find it anywhere, anybody that could get us baby formula. And she got some, and that was something that was desperately needed. Because if we couldn't find it, nor can anybody else. Sure, we had to bring it all the way from Bowling Green, Kentucky. But we got it there. To Jim and Linda up in Kentucky for taking the initiative to get it, getting me in touch with Liz so we could get them the baby formula. Without them, I would have never known and we would have never been able to provide it. So Jim and Linda, thank you very much. To Kyle and his son, Joel, who I had the pleasure of meeting yesterday, or uh, yesterday for me, but two days ago for when you're watching this, for getting all the dog and cat food for us. It was a truckload and a half. Not only did they get it for us free, Joel, or I'm sorry, Kyle coordinated the shipping from one truck from Arkansas and one truck from Maynardville. Or boy, I can't get this right. You can tell my brain's fried. One truck from Arkansas and one truck from Maryland. With him being in Ohio, and then he drove all the way down here to make sure that the delivery went smooth. Okay, Kyle, thank you very much. Joel, thank you for assisting your father in all of this. It was a pleasure meeting you both. To everyone at Nisi Transport in Ohio who did a donation drive, apparently the folks there at Nisi Transportation subscribed to the channel. I didn't know anything about this. They did a donation drive and filled a semi that when I got to the Newport distribution area this morning, I hear the, hi, pinball. We brought a whole semi for you. Thank you very much for doing that. That's, that's taken some serious initiative to do all that. Okay. To Dina and her husband for making the long drive down here and getting a flat tire to deliver some baby formula. Without you guys doing that, I don't know how it would done. The baby formula was the most difficult task we had to be done. And that took a lot of us to all figure it out how to get it done and get it taken care of. I think everybody that, I mean, what was it? Michelle, Diane, me, Liz, Jim and Linda, Dina, all had our hands in to get three pallets of baby formula. That was that one. To every single person who spent last Tuesday donating their entire day 
to participate in our Sam's Club convoy. It was crazy, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and considering we were one of the first people to donate anything, you wonder how many people went to bed Tuesday night a couple of days after the storm with a full belly because of what we did. Thank you, guys. To all the volunteers at both the Crossroads Community uh, Church Warehouse and the Mosheim Collection Center, Mosheim is the Greenville one, thank you without your help telling us what you needed, running forklifts to unload all these trucks. You guys were gracious. You guys were wonderful to work with. Thank you very much. To Elliot and Phil from Wellbots. Phil's the CEO. I got an email from him the other day. It was really cool. Uh, for donating not only cash to our Give, Send, Go, but also donating a couple of generators to go out to the folks that need it. To Grace from Dabson for donating a couple of generators to the group. And to Alex at Idaho for donating a couple of generators to the group. You know, again, you guys know the companies we work with. You can see they're working with us. They're not just out trying to make a sale. You guys know that. And, of course, to each and every one of you who donated your money, your time, you said a prayer for us, you filled my inbox or the comment section with well wishes and encouragement. You basically kept us going when things looked bleak, when it was like, oh, my God, we're never going to get this done. And I go read the comments and you guys are like, go, 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 go. And that pushed. Thank you to every single person who watches this channel because you made this happen. Before I leave, I want you to enjoy... The one last video on this, the bunch of pictures that all of us all took, videos and stuff like that, not only of the donation, but the devastation that was out there that we saw that these people lived through and by your graciousness can try to rebuild. Have a good one. Pinball out. <laughs>